Bro, this is a fat, the fat sub, though. I got the giant, though, you know? Clunksy's still in this, too. Four players left. Oh, he's got this. He's got to have this. He's just playing the hero zone. You saw the smile as well. I think he knows he's got it. I think he knows he's got it. There's no way. Clunksy's done all he can. Clunksy's done all he can. That's it, though. Make some noise. This is a fat sub, dude. Well played. And just like that, they get it done. But you know what? Cloaksy's hyped by himself. The man goes all the way to top two with, I believe, he had like five limbs on his own. Well, that was his game number one in the books. Tifu. you know he's probably not happy with how he went on out in game one. But, you know, his teammate Cloaksy made up for it as the hype at the end. Just when you think they might be down and out, no. The man goes and gets six of limbs by himself. Puts him in that second place spot. You know, we saw back during day one, Heat one, Tifu and Cloaksy finish at the top. Now in the grand finals after game one, it's Tifu and Cloaksy at the top of the scoreboard. We caught up with them to hear their thoughts of the weekend so far. Let's take a look. Oh God. I've known him for so long. Yeah. Like three years, I think. Probably yeah, more. Two or three, four maybe. Yeah. Going four. FaZe reached out to me and was like, hey, we're really interested. We wanted you to build a team. And Tifu was shining at that point. And I hit him up and. I look fucking tired as shit. Du a couple duo tournaments together and we ended up winning like a bunch. Yeah. So we're just like. Bro, I think this is the day after the Dylan yeah. Francis party. I think I was like. Definitely not. It was probably yeah. just getting to end game and not All taking there. unnecessary damage. Yeah, the biggest challenge, I think, would probably be safe zones. So we haven't figured those zones out yet. <laughs> I don't know. They just pop up wherever they want. And sometimes they don't go near us. So I don't know. We end up having to rotate yeah. across all that. There was one moment where, like, we were in a really bad position. Yeah. We probably would have died if it wasn't for a port of port. So do you want to bring us back a little bit of aggro? And with the current safe zone, it didn't really work. This audio but is dog shit. Still secured second. I died off a little bit early, but he clutched up and took us off second. Yeah. So. Jack, name a more iconic duo than Tifu and Cloak. I don't think you can. Come around, we have a Northwest, kind of mid east, headed towards Lonely Lodge, bus path, players jumping on out. This is quite a stretch for some typical drops. You might see a later drop from uh, the gentleman from FaZe, Tifu and Cloak. Hey Twitch Moments fans, if you would like to enter this month's Fortnite V-Bucks giveaway, all you have to do is simply like the video, leave a comment down below, and stay subscribed to the channel. Good luck and enjoy! We'll have to see here where they end up landing. Tifu trying to inch forward. The storm still pushing. Now it's 17 health. He's, he's gotta go! Yeah, they're gonna fall all the way down. Cloak still sitting pretty with uh, quite a bit of HP, a little bit of shield, just lost some right there. Got a medkit right now. Medkit is going to drop the slurp. Cloak can pick it up. The play here, looking to secure Cloak is basically a tank in this situation, trying to top him off as much as he can while Tifu, Tifu uses the medkit. I'm still pissed that we lost this game. Bro, I'm telling you, chat. I got fucked, dude. I should, we should have won this game, seriously. There's one for Cloaksy. 11 players now left. How about another as more begin to drop on down? He's gonna grapple up to the high ground trying to chase these limbs. There's more players still above him. Great job with those roofs. 11 players left. Who will begin to earn placement points in this game? He's gonna That's why Cloaksy doesn't take nades. I take nades. <laughs> as he still has three, two more in his inventory. Not a lot of mats left. Tifu eliminates pain. You've got Snoob. Snoob on the high ground as well. He's got no walls. Tifu and Cloaksy with another. I, I get fucking left. head dinked right he here, bro. The most unfortunate head dink. Cloak body blocks me right there, and then I go in the storm. Drop to the storm. Come it's out and die. That's just annoying. Yet again. We should have won this fucking up. game. He got second in game one by himself. 27 seconds remaining. You we see sure have won. So we sure have this won this game. game to take. I should not have died there. He's got the medal as well. One player floating down on him. He tries to react in time. The tag. He's got him weak. A lot of fall damage. No build. Oh, no. Marksman. Clutches it on, oh, second place. Demento wins it with 12 HP. I thought Marksman had it. I thought he did. Cloaksy is the MVP so far today, man, with the plays he's making. Pretty, pretty nuts stuff, no matter what. Tifu and Cloaksy, another very good placing, though. You've got to think they probably continue to hold on to that lead after game number two. We are just a third of the way through the action, folks, for the Fortnite Fall Skirmish Grand Finals live from TwitchCon. 
team. Look how relaxed we are, bro. We don't even care. No, we just we sent it to win it, dog. Dropped him down to I believe just five HP. Came from Ghost Bizzle and DMO. Cloaks would even the two elims. They love this zone. They have not moved from where they started. This is a great game. This game might be the the lowest movement of any team thus far. I mean, they, they landed that that set of houses down there and have moved northeast <laughs> only slightly. Yep. Are they have six any, limbs combined right now? Yep. My any goodness. sort of placement point. Th they're not close enough right now, which means if they get the elimination, Perfect Tilt gets a knock on Provoked in the feed there, gets the elim. That's number seven, which gives them three points from this game. But Tifu and Cloak are there too. They're going to have to look out. He just wants whatever loot there is here. A great upgrade for both weapons right there. The heavy shotgun in hand, the epic assault rifle in hand. You've got a rocket launcher you could pick up if you'd want to as well. Two slurps right now for Cloaksy. I mean, you'd expect him to drop one. No, Tifu's already got one ticking, and they have a rip to go. How? How, Absolutely how do these it. guys always have, I have all no this? idea. I want to point out super quick, Perfect Tilt and Diggy are sitting on seven eliminations, which means if you see in the feed even a knockdown from Perfect Tilt, yep. every single elimination, if it gets finished, that means another point. They're, and they're going to save the rip to go as well. They're using another team mm -hmm. rip to go. The number of players in the air right now. Oh, my smack gosh. Smack dab in the middle of the group Holy here. Shit. This storm smearing players off at the bottom. I expect the storm to claim a number of players in just a moment here. Then there it is. Look at the feed. Bumpa, DK, Vape Jesus, Left Eye, Win. Windwalker, oh, that was when I was getting the fucking storm bug, dude. Here, storm. Wasn't it? Two slurps right now for Cloaksy. I mean, you'd expect him to drop one. No, Tifu's already got one ticking, and they have a rip to go. That shit was kind of whack, though. Down from Perfect Tilt. Yep. Every single elimination. If we wasted our rip right bottom, here. I the storm to claim a number of players in just a moment. Look, I'm in and the safe zone, feet, bro, and I'm taking DK, damage. You see that? Wind, that was like a common walker, bug that a lot of people were getting. Everybody going down here to the storm. You'll be in the safe the zone. You'll just start Lucy taking damage. I was like, dude, I'm rifting the fuck out of here, dude. Tifu and Cloaks, he's still alive. Tifu still has a slurp to use. Hasn't had a chance to use it yet. And now he's down to the low ground. This could be the end of the game for Tifu. Cloaks, he's still a lot more healthy. There you go, Slurp now being popped. We'll slowly begin to tick that health back up. At this point, everybody, every bit of healing could change the game for that duo. The consistency of Tifu and Cloaksy, it is... It's impressive. It's now three straight games in the top ten. Still with an excellent kit, a ton of ammunition for everything. Ten rockets, 110 shotgun shells will never use, and there's one coming out. Tries to get that, but it looks like Goshan actually ticks that. Goshan's down five limbs himself, and look at three Pain, players in the high ground. Flamed FPS all up top. Cloaksy, the shotgun on Goshan there. Picks up his third Elim. That's six total, like I said. So two I more. One more puts him at seven. It's every those Elim two on that. the low ground, and the rest are all going to float down from above. They've got to move with this zone. And now the they've got to you know, trade back with rockets of their own. Zone starting to close here. Jack is going to come down to potentially heal off two teams above. Six players remaining. Cloak and Tifu. Tifu with no shield. 75 HP. Cloak, 100, 100. He's in an excellent spot. Everything's reloaded. They're building up. They're b basically establishing every single square on They've the They've got bottom. a campfire and a med kit. They're trying to play around a potential low ground. Bung Bomb gets you a know, med kit play. off there. Bung Bomb's pushing in. Bung Bomb's just trying to heal. Fl oh, Flames Tifu got everything. gets the knock. But Flames got everything you get ever need too. Cloak's he's trying to shoot down this. Top side, so they can't. I don't think I had any mats. I was telling Cook, I was like, play some floor. Down. <laughs> like, play some floor. Have a campfire. The floating. Tifu's now knocked. Yeah, I didn't have any mats. Cook has a couple 400, 500. On shit. Down, just 20 health remaining. Gets one. Who wound up winning it? Cloaks, he's down on the low ground as well, I believe. They got Tifu it. They did it. One. Are you kidding me? The last second push out into the storm may have changed that game from a third or second to a first how place to how? Victor Royale. Fifty thousand dollars for the gentleman from Phase Jack. Cloaksy can do no wrong today. Cloaksy can do no wrong. We got to look Here at this it is again. from his perspective. Yeah, we cut away at an awkward time, but why didn't I heal off there? Fire right there and fun because drops to the storm. I couldn't place my campfire, and I was just gonna shoot. When you're low ground, bro, you don't need to, like, you didn't really need to heal Ladies there. And gentlemen, that. you made some noise, but that was not only a victory royale. Like, they had seven eliminations, a We should have been able to shoot the people game. out from up top and kill people them, you know? Cloaksy, it's like they heard the interview. They did. They absolutely did. It's like they did. heard it, and they said, no, no, no. Not giving you three in a row. It won't be easy. That means in the first three games, Tifu and Cloaksy, they got second, they got third, and now they've gotten first.
brilliant, brilliant stuff from this duo. There's been threads about it on Reddit. There's been talk on all sorts of social media. Are these two the most consistent duo in all of Fortnite? And guess what? I think right now they're continuing to build that case even more. They put on a show in Heat 1. Jack, you and I have the opportunity to cast that, but this is, in, this is absolute insanity. 100%. Uh, the progression of gameplay from these two, kind of sinking in, getting comfortable with the situation, and now no. just asserting dominance. Last second pushes into the storm, which we have not seen like that before. It, it's wild. Even down to I the way that they're this. using the rockets. This sandwich is kind of ass. This weekend where you play that high ground and you just I got a turkey sandwich, you know, bro. The and heal on up to it's, the like no, it's got like no, it's got like no lettuce, bro. Realizes that turns and rockets down flame. Who was just gonna sit and heal there all day? That's the reason why they were able to win it. Unsurprisingly, Tifu and Cloak, look at these handsome gentlemen on your screen. 17 Elims. Look at the damage dealt to players. 2,378. Only 2,000 damage received. Tons of wood requ uh, acquired. But did you see the gap there? The material used was 5,000 different. My gosh. They're, they picked up 5,000 materials from either chests off the ground or, unsurprisingly, their opponents after they're eliminated. It's wild. The utilization there is incredible, too. 12,000 materials used is insane, but it shows why they do it. You've watched through these games, <laughs> replacing the walls and structures that they're in. The efficient Give path, me a bite. by the way, through these buildings. This so much exactly dog shit. To go to pick up every chest they can. Well, the loot, all here's the furniture, the thing. too. The loot is just so dense here. There's so many chest spawns, and they're so, like, look at this. There, you, it, there's probably, what, 10, 10, 12 chest spawns just in that little area right there? That when you claim it, when you're by yourself, Jack, it's uncontested. It's uncontested. You know they're going to be maxed out on everything. They've already both got max shields. You've got a legendary double barrel already in the hands of Cloaksy. They're going to farm all these materials. Go Sap. Looking at, at that early, start, his first player drop. Does this surprise you in the least that these two come out of here so kitted? No. Constantly, look at this. 3 zero, 0 on the materials, but multiple shields. An epic heavy shotgun. Kitted to the teeth. Tifu and Cloaksy. The man's got a legendary silence assault rifle, a legendary double barrel, ten a bolt minis, action, dude. ten minis, three med kits, and Tifu just drops to the big shield as well. Uh, the, you see the mark there? Yep. They know that the top of that hill is going to be basically the focal point for a lot of this. Whoever gets that spot is in the dominant position. I'm assuming that the reposition of the marker is basically because someone has to already be up there. Yep. So rotating. Maybe north, northwest, ever so gently. Well, shit. It's going to be a better call if the circle moves. They don't have to move right now, though, and they're not going to. By the way, what you just watched oh right now is a lot of alerts, the next dude. Level layer of his one by one while being under that pyramid. A great little tactic you can use. The quick edits and peaks on these walls looking to third party in these fights. Our loot was dog shit. This is the shittiest game we played all of the We were fucked. 12 HP. Nah, the storm might the claim this one. He knows he's done. And there it is, the tick out there. Eight damage every second is tough. That was Cloaksy the shittiest zone Looks like ever. May have been eliminated of all time. But got Opposite four side legs. of the map, and it kept rotating over and mountains, and I had no well, I mats, that's no fucking movement. Well, that's a different, a this is a different game. You, yeah, it's a different game. He is the MVP so far today, absolutely. Oh, what an awkward fight. Didn't Wait, is it? Was trap. that two different clips? He's getting ripped up from everywhere, though. He's the target of multiple players at the moment. He's just going to reset with the glider. He's out in the storm just barely, landing right next to the tree, kind of hiding himself in the structure. It is indeed. Because he just got eliminated. He just got eliminated. Cloaksy still alive. The shot he shot up close. Are you kidding me? Cloaksy and Tifu with three. They'll build more on that lead that they had. And I don't see Nate. Yeah, I don't see Nate Hill Funk Bomb on there. The team in second. So you got to think their lead right back up there yet again strong as ever with only one game left we saw tifu and cloak yo bass thing for the two months basically thing for the two months the last one bringing home three points royal thing for the three sauce thing for the four placement as well well uh, oh yeah let's make some noise for all dr fat peen thing for the five dollars retail that's a rotated <laughs> at this point i'm assuming they land down in the southeast corner loot up like crazy and then make moves towards spicy oh thing for gosh. the four months they go for a rip to get here. 25 eliminations. Look at the material. Almost 20,000 materials used, Jack. I think that's more material than I've ever for the 1,100 bits. In Fortnite. Oh, yeah. It's these cumulative stats over the course of, I believe, the entire fall. Uh, uh, sorry, just the grand finals. Yeah. I think that makes sense. But either way, Tifu and Cloaksy down low. They've got players on it. That's the new one. That's the new 
skin that has come on in. The patch patroller. Yeah, those stats were just from the grand finals. Uh, available now in the shop. Or will be, will be available tonight. Again, the, the skins today are completely random, so just so happened that Tifu in this final game wound up getting it. Very small box that that stink grenade is going to cost him just a little bit of drop down the shotgun and the second shot from that double. Barrel miss, but it doesn't matter to Cloak. He gets the the That's elite. It. You saw Bog relocating. Dean was still knocking down a tree, trying to build up his own small one by one box. Anything to stay alive. People in Cloak not missing a ton of HP at this point. Yeah, based on the position of the minimap, that had to be them that just got stink bombed. He here. wants these materials so bad, and, and, and the uh, the items down there. There's a look at your scoreboard so far. Nate Hill and Funk Bomb at three, so they'll get a point as well. Tifu and Cloak see at two in total. See in the bottom right, Tifu just took a little bit of damage. Another Stink Grenade coming out. Those those Stink Bombs are so powerful in these competitive matches because so many players are in Little one boxes. or two or three box mm -hmm. bases, and that's it. Cloak still in the feed. T it's a six-point game eliminated. for them. Cloak, he's still around, has three, is three to his name right now. Circle is... <laughs> Almost closing. Cloak and Tifu are out. Cloak, you can tell. Nervous about, whoa. Top three. They are alerted of top three, so we'll have to All wait. All right, shit. I need to catch up on more alerts. Exactly who stacks up. Oh, so we're going to...